Uh, just trying to digest it. Um, I mean, after the game, it's kind of, I mean, gosh, we play a 830 game, so it's like midnight by the time the game's over, so it takes a little time to digest, but come in the morning, um, stay with the right attitude, learn from, uh, learn from it, coach just prepare us properly, and get, uh, get ready for tomorrow. When do you get to sleep after an 8:30 game like that? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't think I left. I think I left the rink at like 12:15 last night, maybe. So I think I went to bed. I went to bed at a good time, like 1:30, one, so 1:15. When you uh, played Minnesota and Seattle last year, you were down one nothing. In fact, you were down two one in both those series. Does that just tell you what a grind this is and how you, know, you guys had home ice in both those series, and yet you had to come back and you know, get back and win games on the yeah. road and do what you have to. I mean, that's just the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it just shows it's never easy. Um, I mean. You have the other team out there trying to win too. So, um, but yeah, we have those experiences last year. But um, what's important is to uh, come out strong and try to get the lead tomorrow. How much does that help to have that experience? Because I mean, we're we'll be panicking. Your fans will be panicking, and you guys really can't afford to panic. You have to put your head down and do your job. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's we have that experience. I said, but I mean, it's a completely different. Um, season, atmosphere, team, um, but we have the same guys in this locker room as last year uh, and some new additions, so everyone in this room has that composure and um, we try to respond tomorrow. Given the experience of the series last year, you know, as Mike said, being down 0-1, what changes game one to game two? Uh, I think you just make adjustments accordingly, um, learn, you try to fill each other out in the game one. Um, I think we notice some things we can uh, um, do differently and Everyone's going to come back with that mindset of uh, getting ready to go for game two. Uh, Pete said you guys were chasing the game a lot last night. As, as season's gone on, I think you're one of like 15th, 18th, and scoring first and having leads after the first period. You know, is there one, you've been a good comeback team, but is there something you can do to not have to come back? So yeah, um, I mean, taking penalties is a big thing. I think at the big, actually at the beginning of the year, I think we had a problem taking early penalties, but um, I'm sure that uh, we'll try to keep that down and, uh, I mean, just keep the game five on five. How, how do you want that line? Because, I mean, the guess or the thought is taking a penalty is you're really fired up as a team. You know, maybe you did a little too much, but you can't just wade in and not try and do a lot. And yeah. It's just, I don't you know, how do you get there? Uh, you see that fine line of competing and being disciplined. Um, I mean, it, it was the first game in the series, so everyone has that jitters. So uh, just tomorrow, stay composed and uh, check well. Jason, you had one of the shots last night. You, 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 you try to go off the goalie. Talk about the skill or the strategy of a shot like that. And you're trying it like to go you had one from the right side. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, hindsight, I mean, I think maybe we should have moved the puck around, but, I mean, when I was trying to make a play, try to get off the goalie and in, um, if not, create something loose. And, um, yeah, just trying to be creative. Did you get when's close? Decision, yeah, did you get close? And when's the decision on when to try to do something like that? Uh, no, I think when you just have time, um, pick your head up, see if it can happen. Um, and, I mean, it's one of those things. I don't even know if I got a shot on that for that. No, yeah. yeah. Are you surprised it doesn't work more often? Uh, no, not really. I think goalies are goalies understand that stuff now, and um, just being, yeah, they, they, the goalies are good. Uh, one of those media guys has talked about you flipping the puck over the back of the net. Have you been working on that? Flipping over the net. Remember, I think in the middle of the season, I was saying, get behind the net, shoot it up. Over oh the yeah. Goalie. And you guys said it would never work. They wouldn't. Have, the other team wouldn't let you do it. Yeah, I don't, I believe, I don't, I I don't know. I believe you could do it. It's my thought, personal thought. Guys, that you... Uh, you ought to see his power play. Yeah. yeah I got, I've got all stuff. To guys, are, guys are too... <laughs> thinking things that stuff too often. Well, if there's ever... <laughs> Late games tend to mess you up. Uh, they were mentioned a couple of players last night that you guys lost games one against Minnesota and Seattle last year. You were actually down 2-1 in both those series. Yeah. Does that just show you how much you have to stay in the moment in these types of things where, I mean, it literally, you're going to face adversity in every single round? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, you know, you'd like, I mean, we also were down 2 nothing to Vegas, too. So you're, you're down in every series last year. You know, it's not, not a perfect situation. So, 
you know, I think we understood the importance of that. Um, but, you know, we're here again and we have to deal with it. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that it's great. I, I also have great confidence in our group that, you know, that we will respond and that uh, one win in these type of series swings the momentum, you know, greatly. Yeah. Yeah. This time of year, you know, energy's high. You could feel it in the building last night. So maybe isn't that isn't really the reason for it. But yeah. what can you do to kind of simulate that before going into the next game to kind of you know improve? Yeah. That? Yeah, I don't know. You know, you take a. It, it's hockey, right? We took a penalty first period, of, first shift of the game, kind of a. a an unfortunate one, it ends up in our net. I, you know, I don't know how you practice that or simulate that or talk about that. You know, I think our our intentions and our hearts were in the right place. I think our group was ready to play. Um, you know, that was just the situation. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's just hockey. You've just got to deal with it. I mean, I think we have to find a way. I mean, I, you know, when you look at the numbers going into the series, we, we had an advantage on special teams. Now, you know, they're adding Stone and Hurdle and, you know, other guys to the the guys that skew those numbers probably a little bit from the regular season. So, but, you know, you, you've got to win the goaltending battle. you got to win the special teams battle. Uh, you know, when you get the razor-thin margins this time of year. You, I was, you mentioned Hurdle. I was going to ask you about Hurdle. You had him in San Jose. What? What do you see different in him as a player? And Who's what, that? Hurdle. Hurdle. Oh, and yeah. the impact he's making on that Vegas yeah. lineup. Obviously, he wasn't there when you played yeah. Hurdle this year. Yeah. You know what? He's uh, – well, I'm a big Tommy Hurdle fan. Great, great kid, great teammate, great player. Um, you know, you, you see, you know, he's uh, he's built for the playoffs. He's, he's a big body that protects pucks, net front presence, great hand-eye, great on face-offs, a lot to like. You know, I, uh, um, yeah, I mean, just a, a really, really good player. And that's, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he brings a different dimension to their group up the middle. You know, you've got Eichel and Stevenson, Carlson that are, are, are decent sized guys, but more speed off the rush guys. You know, this guy's a possession, heavy, hard net front guy. So it's a, it's a good balance for them. Uh, you talked about special teams. What has Elaine brought on the penalty kill in the last two seasons? I think you yeah. guys are top five, type eight yeah. in, the, in that. And then what did you see in the film from last night? Yeah. Well, first off, I think both our special teams, you know, have been excellent in my time here. I, I think both years, you know, it's it's rare to have one of your special teams in the top ten, never mind both. And, uh you know, usually you've got one really good and one below average. So, you know, we I think I think both years we've we've had both in the top ten, which is you know I've never had that before. So, you know, both our special team coaches do a great job. You know, I think last night's a little bit of an aberration. I think we can do a, a better job than we did. Um, and uh, you know, some nights everything they shoot kind of finds a way in. So, you know, sometimes you just have to wash it and not overthink it. Um, you know, but yeah, I mean, you know, I, I love our coaching staff, uh, and uh, I think they do a fantastic job. After the their fourth goal, like you didn't give up much. Yeah. How much of that was the score, the situation, and is there anything you can take out of what you did? That they didn't give up much, or no, you didn't. We I didn't. I think they had like two shots the rest of the second. Yeah. I forget what they had the third, but yeah. not much. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So you know. Some of it's situational. Sometimes you sit back and defend a little bit. They're a smart team, you know. They, they, there's a reason they won, so I'm sure they're they're not looking to push push things offensively. Uh, I think that's a a piece of it. But but I also think we defended well. I thought, you know, they're an excellent rush team. We didn't give them hardly anything off the rush last night. You know, I, I thought defensively our our details were in a good spot and. Um, you know, I thought offensively we can be better. I'm sure Butch is saying the same thing on their end. Uh, it, it's razor-thin margins. I mean, that, that you know, the offsides 
goal is that much or you know it's a tie game or it's an overtime and you know that's that's just this time of year you know you've got to you got to do a little bit more someone's got to uh, grab the game your best players have to be your best players in key moments um, you know all those cliches it's a weird one we haven't seen much of the skate over the line on the offside call since they put that rule yeah. in how close was the skate over the line when you when yeah. you go back and look at it could that have been a topic of conversation uh on the the, the skate can flo- hover over yeah, the yeah. line as opposed to just do uh, yeah the, the it looked like as he pirouetted yeah it just kind of yeah. rushed forward you know i i think they got the call right yeah. when i watched it um you know, again, it's millimeters, right? But they got the call right. You know, there was a couple rushes where uh, they blew offsides that that I thought we, you know, we had opportunities to to create something that were the wrong call. Um, you know, you know, you'd like to see them let those go. I think that's why you have review. You know, but that's uh, that's the game. How much of an impact did you feel from those players that came back compared to maybe what you've seen from Vegas in the last couple of weeks? Yeah. Oh, the totally different team. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're adding, you know, look at look at the names you're adding. So, yeah, I think that's that's a that, that's an obvious point. I think that uh, you know it, it it would be similar to you know Rupe Hins and Merrill Heiskanen being out for us. And then you're adding them back in. You know, it changes all parts of your game. 